Hi friends, welcome to Adis DevOps. Today we are going to discuss about Key Vault access for the Windows machine through managed identity. Those things today I am going to discuss. First thing, I am using Windows machine. So I have two Windows machines and I have Key Vault. So people who are following these steps, please be create one Key Vault and two virtual machines nothing need to uh, do specially just go and create the services for the this demo okay after creating any one of the virtual machine or if you want both virtual machine need to access the key vault we need to do the same step in that identity portal go to identity and default it will be turned off so you need to turn on this and save here so that it will create one principal ID. So this is the managed identity um, principal ID and also it will create one name. So that name will be uh, for example that uh, virtual machine name will be defaultly assigned, assigned for this identity name. Here win server B is a identity name for this virtual machine. So this virtual machine has one managed identity. So things which are all having the access to this managed identity can be used inside this virtual machine. So now for this tutorial, we are going to provide the key vault access to this managed identity and through that we are going to access the secrets inside the key vault to this server. Okay. Now after creating this uh, key vault and you go to secrets and add some secrets. Okay. <clears throat> So I add on sample just go to generate manually you can give some test and echo some sample for our uh, tutorial just you create some sample secrets so it will be displayed like this once it is created we need to provide the access that to that managed identity created in the virtual machine for providing the access to the managed identity we need to go for access policies there you can go and create so here we have different permissions so uh, for example as a user if you are adding your name as a access policy adding you as a user in the access policy means you can provide all the access which are required to you for a uh, identity managed in India and all just we can provide uh, only the secrets to read so like that we have option secret management just it will manage the secret or otherwise if you don't want to give those things you know, just it need to be have get and list means we can provide this to permissions so here I am giving select all for managing the complete secrets and then here I need to choose the user so already I have added here so maybe I can check see here you can see win server A so totally I am having two servers one is win server B another one is win server A so I for this also I have turned on the managed identity as, as, I, as I said earlier you need to go for the identity and turn on this so that it will create our own managed identity and it will have some default ID so this win server A, once we are adding this win server A over here and we need to select like that and go for next and you can create now. Once you are creating, it will load some, it will take some time and once that access was granted to that particular managed identity that we can verify over here. If you saw here, I have two virtual machines for the two virtual machines, I have two managed identity. So one managed identity having all complete access for one machine B, I have machine B managed identity, I have given complete access for machine A, I have given only secret permissions like that I have created. Now my both Windows virtual machine have the access to this particular key vault. So we have few comments to get that secrets. Okay, this is the reference document. I have referred this document. I will add it in my description. You can make use of this. Uh, so as I told go to VM and turn on the managed identity and step two and the access policies we need to add the managed identity access for providing the access and then third step we have these three steps we need to implement in one by one so first thing I need to collect the access token for the for managed identity to get the secrets from the key vault okay you don't want to change anything in this command this is the default values for getting the tokens so you don't want to change anything just copy this command and put it in the any one of the virtual machine which you want to check whether this machine have access to the key vault so in the virtual machine please open the powershell 
power shell terminal in the administrator axis and then paste my command to collect the axis token once it is executed next to this so we need to store the token in that uh, one variable now those token was stored in the key vault token variable after that so here you need to replace your key vault url so that you can find here when you are in the key vault you can see key vault uri so there you need to copy it and you need to replace it here and then after the secrets you need to replace the name of the secret which you are created in that key vault to collect that values in the particular virtual machine so here i have used a sample that also you can see here in the secret i have two values one is sample another one is test so i am i am trying to collect the sample value okay so once you add those things and you can copy this command and put it in the machine in which machine you want to see that have the key vault access see now you get the secret value from that particular key vault url with that id c5e so that you can check here c5e so that virtual machine have the secret access in that particular key vault okay those things was granted by using managed identity okay so this is a very simple process and you don't want to add any uh, um, service principles client id client secret those things and all it was managed by azure so you don't want to worry about this and it won't have any expiry details and all so if the connection was for connection was permanent and you don't want to worry about that uh, security issues also it was uh, officially we can make use of this managed identity it will be very um, it will be very helpful for uh, development purpose okay so people if you have any doubts related to this you please make a comment so i will try to answer those questions thanks for watching adis devops